So I had a fun idea come to my mind as I watched the divisional round games this weekend and Mahomes battle, you know, Allen and Jackson battle, Stroud. You know, it got me thinking, can Anthony Richardson compete with those elite level quarterbacks going forward? We're going to cover all that on this, the No Horsing Around podcast. Okay, you guys, okay. Welcome back to another episode of the No Horse Around Podcast. As always, I am one of two dudes talking Colts. I am one of your hosts, Stephen Burton. And big shout out to the No Horse family. Big shout out to Colts Nation as we head into the offseason. But as, as we get through the divisional round of games this past weekend, it got me thinking. A couple of years ago, 2021, we're sitting there with Carson Wentz, and we watched this amazing game between the Bills and the Chiefs and the back and forth. And that was the one where, if you guys can remember, that's the one where Allen goes down and scores and Mahomes gets down the field in like 20 seconds and he scores to win the game. And we came out of that game, a lot of Colts fans going, because we had Carson Wentz. That's the one where we, we shit the bed against the Jaguars. And we had Carson Wentz sitting there. And a lot of people came out of that game going, you can't watch that game and think to yourself that the Colts and Carson Wentz can compete at the level that needs to be competed at, right, with these other quarterbacks. You got to go, you got to go get your guy, right? And we kind of goes through a little bit of a turbulent time, right? Like you get rid of Carson Wentz, not knowing who you're going to get. You bring in Matt Ryan. It's an epic failure with Matt Ryan, And then you take what a lot of people say is like this alien quarterback in Anthony Richardson. There's never been a quarterback who's tested like him at the combine. There had never been a quarterback with his measurables coming out between the speed and the physical nature of what he played. And we go into the rookie season and we get a short glimpse of this and we do get some of that talent that we get to see, right? Uh, But it got me thinking over the weekend How do the Colts fans sit and watch the playoffs this year? How does Colts Nation react to seeing this great game between Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes or this great play by Lamar Jackson, right? Or even let's toss it, C.J. Stroud looked amazing uh, this season, looked great in the the wild card, didn't look great too much in the divisional, but you got all these guys, right? So how do we feel coming out of the divisional round as opposed to two years ago? So me personally, I feel it's a different feeling. Like you have your young freak athlete quarterback who does the things that these other quarterbacks do well, has the potential to do them really well as well, right? So I kind of did a little bit of digging. And you're talking about for the Colts to compete with Anthony Richardson, there are a handful of quarterbacks that they have to go through in the AFC, not just the AFC, but the AFC South as well. Like you're going to have to go through a C.J. Stroud, a Trevor Lawrence, right? Uh, A Will Levis is young too. You're going to have to go through a Joe Burrow. You're going to have to go through a Patrick Mahomes, a Josh Allen, a Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, right? These amazing quarterbacks. And so off the top of my head, you know, on most given years, the top three, top four quarterbacks that are sitting in there, are going to be a Mahomes, a Josh Allen, a Lamar Jackson, right? So I wanted to do like a little bit of a dive and see like how does what Anthony Richardson put on tape his rookie year, although be it small and short because of the injury, how does it line up with these other quarterbacks? So I kind of did some looking, right? And, you know, with Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow got hurt during his first season. He only played 10 games, nine games actually. 13 touchdowns, five picks, 26 turn yards, right? Lamar Jackson, he only played seven. He, he was, you know, he dressed, but he started seven games, right? And he had, you know, when you look at his stats, he had, what is it, 1,200 yards, six touchdowns, three picks. Six and one is the starter. Rushing was where he really kind of showed out. When you look at his rushing stats, his rushing stats, he had 695 yards and five t- touchdowns. And then there's Josh Allen, who a lot of people would like to comp him 
But Vite kind of, you know, he gets a little bit of a comp to Josh Allen because of the completion percentage, right? So Josh Allen in his rookie year, he played 12 games, started 12, started 11, 10 touchdowns, 12 picks, and just over 2,000 yards. Completion percentage of 52%. But then you flip it around yet again, which is what we're going to talk about with Anthony Richardson too. He rushed for 631 yards and eight touchdowns. So how does that measure up with Anthony Richardson, right? we got one year to go off of. Anthony Richardson had a 59.5 completion percentage. He had 577 yards, three touchdowns, and one pick. It's not a huge sample size. It was two and two as the starter, right? It's not this massive sample size. Same when it comes to rushing. You know, rushing, he 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 had 136 yards and four touchdowns. A lot of people will go like, well, you let's extrapolate that out over the four games. But that's, it's a bit much, right? Like you take four games, you're going to play another set of four, then another set of four, another set of four, right? So three more, that's 12 plus the four already. That's 16 rushing touchdowns. That's a bit much. I don't know if he would have had that. Um, but, I, I mean, you look at the the freak nature in which he's able to compete, right? I think, me personally, I come out of this way more encouraged than I did two years ago. And I was a Carson Wentz apologist. Like, I, I thought you could do those things with him. But I think you have that guy. I think more importantly, you have that coach who can do those things and coach him up and get him ready to be able to go in. I don't have Mahomes in here because Mahomes played one game his rookie season, and then his first year as an actual starter, he was an MVP, and he was one win away from the Super Bowl and threw like 55 touchdowns. It was a freak anomaly, right? Like, like you're not going to get that again. So I don't want to put him in here. But what do y'all think? Do you have, as Colts Nation, how do you feel as opposed to two years ago when we watched these guys duke it out? Do you think you have the guy? Do you think Anthony Richardson can develop into one of those top-tier guys that allows you to compete at the top of the AFC South and the AFC Conference in general? I do. I do think he's that. I think he is that dude. I think he is the next evolution of the quarterback. And me and Zach have talked about this off air before. I think the NFL knows that too. I think that's why you see some of these things. I think he's going to be one of those top quarterbacks. I want to hear from you guys, though. Drop it in the comments. Tell me your thoughts. Like I said, I want to know where you sit at. Let me know. And while you're there, make sure you guys please like, share, subscribe, comment, all those great things. Join the family. It's always bleeping above my head. You guys know that. We want you guys to jump in here. We want to hear from you guys. It's just fun. And like we always say, too, like, we're just a voice that gets to talk for you guys. And on behalf of you guys for Colts Nation, we love doing it. We're excited to go now. We're going to be going into our third offseason. We did Wentz, Ryan, fourth offseason. It's kind of insane. But as I end these things the same way I always do, I love you. I know for a fact Zach loves you because I talked to him today. And he misses y'all and he'll be back soon. I'm out.